Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Aries. Aaron's in the background uh, playing Oblivion at the moment. We're doing a joint game. So, let me talk to you about uh, today's topic. It will be a short and sweet video. It'll be actually fast. It's not about fly fishing, fly fishing books, etc. I have books I gotta review, five of them to be exact, before more come in. Uh, to tell you a little story, I had some library books that I requested the library purchase. Twice now they've disappeared and vanished, like they were, the requests were deleted. So I keep printing them out and yeah, after I know which ones I requested and then I submit them back into them. So today's topic is a simple one actually. A lot of people ask about off and on transgenderism. No, we're not talking about that. We could, but we won't. This is more about um, being uh, yourself. Now, we've done videos in the past about being yourself, but not being yourself as in thinking your life will be better if you do this or that. Excuse me. I'm still full of food from dinner. Now, when it comes to being yourself, you could sit there and you could walk down the street and you could see some woman or a guy and uh, you could be transgender and be like, wow, I'd like to live uh, live as live as them or be them or etc. Heck, I have it too, cosplayers and and stuff. But you know what? I want to tell you a big secret to the little problem here. Okay, you could sit there. And wish to be a gorgeous, uh, plumpy uh, Latino woman. But, here's the example. You don't know what life they live outside of what you see from your own peripheral vision. Yeah. Meaning, you can see it and say, oh man, that is all gravy. They wear everything I want and they have a dream life. And how do we know they're not being abused? How do we know they hate their life? How do we know they, they feel like being, being someone else? There is a story the other day Aaron was talking about. How a lot of people turn around and they say, Oh, well, I wish I was that person. I'd have money. Or I wish I was wealthy. Or I wish this or that. Maybe. But let's just say, for example, we should be feeling better that we can't swap other bodies out and live someone else's life. Um... Two, we should be grateful um, that we are ourselves because maybe someone down the street or maybe someone across the country has a worse life than you. Who knows? My mama used to say that um, don't wish ill on anyone. Well, don't. But also, don't wish to be them because you don't know what they're going through. What you see from your point of view could be the perfect shell in their world. But in their world, things could not be perfect. So before you're sitting there and saying, Oh, well, I'd like to wake up every morning as this hot chick, for example, because she's hot. I mean, I have a friend of mine that... Very ill from sickness. Doesn't show it. But people say, oh, I'd love to be them. Look how hot they are. Yeah, but if you knew what illness they had, you would not want to be in their position or in their body living their life. I mean, it, 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 it's like being or wanting to be rich. The Bible says whoever pursues uh, being rich or trying to get rich falls flat on their face. And they steer, they steer off the path of Jesus and God. Well, yeah. And one other thing. A lot of people say, well, if you didn't live this life or that life, then we'd have no problem. Well, I've been meaning to talk about a topic. And before I talk about the topic, I will brief Aaron on it before we bring it out in the open. But... I'm going to touch lightly on it. Now, a lot of people say, Oh, well, you look like a guy with huge boobs wearing a cowboy hat. What gets? I'm actually a female, okay? Um, it doesn't matter, but here's the problem. Problem is, all these people out there say either a guy wants to have a full sex change to um, 
uh, to uh, be taken care of, which they don't, by the way. They die old, gray, and with nobody, more likely. Female to males, I can't say anything about them. I don't have that per, uh, peripheral vision, plus I don't see certain issues. That's the other thing we'll talk about. But when it comes to transsexuals, male to females, a lot of them end up dying old and gray with no one. They go through it and they fail. They fail miserably. And I, for one, think that before you go out and decide you want a nice life where you can have breast implants, uh, female uh, genitalia, thin body where you work it off so you're thin, maybe you're a brunette, maybe you're a redhead, maybe you're a blonde, ask yourself, is it well worth going through all that surgery? Yeah. Four. Um, it. Maybe you're really feeling trapped in the wrong body and you hope your family will embrace you or whatever. That I accept. But I do not accept someone saying, I'm having a sex change because I want to be taken care of. I hate how women get taken care of and we have to provide for them. Yeah, but with a voice like that, sir, no one's going to want you to hurry and say, Alright, my name's Bob. How are you? I mean, come on. I already get combative enough for myself, but the point is, is I know what uh, I know how to do things and how to handle things. So technically, you know, it, it's not a catch twenty two. It's you gotta live and you gotta be comfortable. But yes, for most part, if you're born in the wrong body, it's fine. But if you're doing it for any other reason, you're gonna be miserable. You know, they could, you know, and the being rich. Being rich doesn't mean anything. It means you'll have people coming out of the woodworks and um, wanting every dime that isn't nailed down. So, uh, just remember, before you sit there and say, oh, that person there has got the perfect body and the perfect legs, or just ask yourself, before you go into details, ask yourself, are you happy with your life or do you want someone else's life because if you want to live someone else's life first ask yourself what problems do they have maybe they're worse than yours all right just remember your life could be simpler than theirs i know someone that's been through so much crap in their life they treat everyone great they treat everyone like um, like a saint, so, um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that, they're like a saint, but just remember, be yourself, don't be someone else, their life could be worse, and don't wish you could be in the body of a, a genetic female that's having a baby or being pregnant, you don't know what they're going through, you don't know how hard it might be, just be, uh, grateful that you are yourself whether you're male or female I know there's a lot of videos out there where there's body swapping where it happens where this happens or that happens it's all fixed tissue I mean heck I can make a whole book on body swapping but what's the point it wouldn't do me any good only a few select would read it so the point is is I wanted to share that with you all now that's all I wanted to say and I uh, also wanted to say I will touch bases again on more about womanhood, transgenderism, but I will speed it up so you don't have like 500 at minutes to watch it, okay? Once I converse with Aaron on it, we'll figure it out, um, you know, but you get what it is. I have my own pro uh, preferences and my own thoughts on it. And eventually I will share a little bit about it for some of you out there watching so you can understand more. Uh, with that said, please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments in the box if you like. Please add me to the friends suggest. Post feedback and comments. Thank you. May God bless the world.